This is Louise for MMA Crazy and I'm joined with Drew Dober on the red carpet for the UFC Hall of Fame. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm here with everyone and uh, man, it's, it's so crazy and fun out here. Is it nice to be, you know, not uh, cutting weight or, you know, talking to the media when you're when you're preparing for a fight? <laughs> well, unfortunately, I'm dying and preparing for a fight, but this is my beautiful break away from the gym, and uh, this is uh, the moment where I can take a step uh, back from my career and I can be a spectator. And what do you think so far? Oh, I mean, I absolutely love it. I was here last year, and uh, any year I get a chance to, to be a part of these events uh, and to be a fan again, uh, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. And uh, any time I get the opportunity to talk to you guys and, and the fans, I take advantage. Focusing on you, you do have a fight coming up, UFC 277, uh, Rafael Alves, right? So, um, you know, how do you see that fight going down? What did you think of him as an opponent for you? Uh, it's a an enthusiastic an opponent, uh, young, hungry, and uh, eager to get it done quickly. So I think he's going to come out blade, like with glory, uh, a lot of energy, enthusiastic, trying to put away, me away in the first. And uh, as we know, that's not easy to get done. And so I'm going to find him in the later rounds. And, you know, what do you think about the landscape of the lightweight division at the moment? You know, it's a little bit of a, a confusing situation with Charles Oliveira obviously not making weight. Uh, and that title is pretty much vacant now. What do you think about what's going on at the moment? I honestly think it was a disaster. I, uh, I think we should just dismiss it. Uh, Charles Oliveira is champion, is still champion, whether he has the belt or not. It's all logistics, but he is the champion. Nobody's beaten him yet. And uh, man, I can't wait for uh, Islam Makhachev to get that chance. Yeah, I mean, how do you see that going down? Uh, man, Islam, uh, <laughs> I know firsthand it's hard to find a mistake in his game and uh, uh, Oliveira with a five round fight is uh, some interesting variables but uh, I definitely put my uh, my money on Islam uh, he's, he's so talented and last one uh, do you watch tough uh, Juliana Pena and Amanda Nunes oh yeah yeah I'm a huge Amanda Nunes fan and actually I'm a part of their uh, their rematch on that card so I'm gonna get my job done so I can grab some popcorn and I get to watch that and uh, man I with with my heart Amanda Nunes I, I hope she gets it done well, thank you so much for talking to me today and have fun. Thank, thank you so you much. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it.